Does this ever happen to you? Cables everywhere. No way to mute yourself during a podcast? On June 10th, 1752, Benjamin Franklin... Excellent sound, but no streaming options? Then buckle up and let's go for a ride to audio interface face-off. Okay, enough of that. So I have several needs for what I do with my audio setup. And if you do too, I want to go over what I've been using and several other similar audio interfaces that may suit you and what you need to do. So let's look at what Amazon is willing to rent me for a video. Now for me, there's several things that I need. I need one, plenty of headroom output for high Pitons headphones. That means that if you're using something like these, the Bear Dynamic DT770 Pros, the 80 ohms, that means that you need 80 ohms of power in order to use it. Now they even have a 250 ohm version, which I do not have. So it has to have enough power to power those kind of headphones. Two, connections in the back. I want, I don't like having all these cables on my desk uh, and it's not something that I interchange cables really at all. So I would love to have them in the back. Then the headphone in the front, that's not a deal breaker, that, that would be fine. Um, and then three, a mute button for the XLR mic. I do podcasting, I do voice work, uh, it, even in gaming. You know, having that mute button would be fantastic. And also good mic monitoring. When you hear your voice inside your headphones, it needs to be a representation of what is being recorded or what other people are hearing. Otherwise, if it's too low, if it's too high, if it breaks up, if it just sounds like crap, you're gonna talk like this and it's gonna sound terrible and it's really gonna throw you off, or at least it throws me off. So that's what I need out of it. So let's take a look at what we got. Now, first up, and it's probably the first one that comes to your mind, is the Wave XLR. Now, this is an audio interface for an XLR mic and it does have some nice features. Now, this thing retails for $129. It is made for gaming and streaming and not so much for studio work. So right off the bat, it's got all the connections in the back, a touch button for the mute for the, for the mic, and that's about it. The headphone output is pretty low and almost enough to power my DT770s, but if I had a 250 ohm, I really don't think I would get much power out of it at all. Also, the mic monitoring is very poor. There is actually a setting in the software that creates an echo. You can turn it off, but even with that off, it still has a tad delay and it makes me talk louder and monotone because I don't hear my voice as it should be. And also the interface, I'm not fond of. It's very clean and it's very simple, but you have your mic volume and then you push this button and you have your headphone volume and you set that and then you have your PC to mic mixer so you can go all the way over to mic and then go all the way over to PC which is fine for what I do I would never use that but you have to change this in order to set volumes so if somebody's like hey you, you're talk, you're too loud okay okay let me get over to my mic turn it down well now I can't hear anything hold on that I hate I kind of hate it it does have Phantom power for 48 volt, I should mention that. And on the back, you have one XLR, you have one headphone jack, and you have one USB, and that's it. That's all you have. So now if you're using one PC, this is not really a big deal. I mean, you can always split that and go to external speakers if you wanted to, and just have the volume controlled independently. But they didn't add anything for a second PC or an output, or even an input for your phone. It's very limited. I see a lot of people talking about this like this is like the second coming or something, but actually you're, you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot by getting this if you want to do some serious streaming. That's just my opinion. There's better options. So let's look at one. Now when I said better option, don't laugh. Now this is the Fafine Gaming Mixer SC3. I always get that name mixed up. I have to look it up. Okay, this retails for $49.99. I have a review of this up, and I gave it a good review. 
For a mixer that is in its price range, which there's really not many in the $49.99 price range, um, you have independent controls, which is great. Mute button for the mic, mic monitoring button. You have multiple effects and of course RGB. And then everything's in the back. And you also get, you also get a headset jack and an output jack. So headphones, speakers, phone, whatever you want. XLR, um, this is 50 bucks. This is 130. And just, just you know, just for perspective, just look at that. Okay, so anyway. Now, honestly, if the mic monitoring this was not total garbage, I, this would be my solution. Uh, even for 50 bucks, there's plenty of headroom for volume on your headphones. Uh, the recording quality and the sound quality coming out of it is actually really good. The mute button doesn't make any noise. And you don't have to change anything for your volume it's all right here and you can actually just glance at it and see what your volumes are at which you can't do with the wave xlr so maybe if a fine fix that i could you know i'll do another review but let's move on okay next up is the audient evo 4 and this thing is kind of perplexing to me uh this retails for 129 this guy has really good mic quality and output quality. Very smooth mic monitoring, ample headphone volume, but it really doesn't offer much else. You do get an instrument independent input and you also get two XLR connections. You get monitor speakers in the back, push your USB. So you could actually do a podcast with someone right in front of you with this and control everything. And it does have, some, of course, some nice features. Your, for, your 48 volt uh, phantom power right there. Uh, and then independent controls for each input. So this would be mic one, and you can set the volume for that. Mic two, you set the volume for that. And you can mute each one of them. Just hold it down for like two seconds, and then it mutes it. And then hold it down for two seconds again, does it again. And this also has a kind of a similar volume control as the the wave xlr whereas you push this and then that gives you the control for your volume for your pc and then push this one an independent button for your mic to pc mix and this big green button right here this really controls your mic volume so this is your gain for your mic and what you would do is you would push this and then hit which one that you want to set the gain on and push it again. And it automatically kind of finds that perfect gain for your mic. I tried this several times and it was it was fine. I mean, really to find your gain, you just don't wanna be clipping. If this is new to you, um, this is probably you know something that you would benefit from. But once you see where that volume is, you're gonna basically be using that volume from then on. So it's kind of like a one hit. I don't know. For the money, uh, and for simple recording and some streaming, it does have a loop back in this so that you can record your desktop and your mic at the same time. But honestly, OBS does that for you anyway. So if you're doing some music recording, this thing's a champ. It's great for the price, the sound quality, the build quality, everything is, is top notch. Now this you might recognize from my other video that you probably watched, or at least I hope so, and gave me a like. But this is the Roland Bridgecast, and this is what you have been listening to through this entire video. Now this thing is, well, as you can see, it's kind of a beast. Um, this retails for $299.99, which is kind of getting out of my budget. Uh, this has everything you can need for streaming and podcasting. Separate volumes for everything, including mic monitoring, which none of the others have. I can actually set a have a set volume for my mic monitoring but yet the mic input and output volume or i'm sorry the, the mic volume itself is independent so i can turn that down and up without it affecting what i'm hearing amazing it also has an eq a de-esser and a compressor for your mic watch my review i go over all that stuff the only thing about this is the mic monitoring is a tad off and the price I did get this used one that I did the review on, but shortly after that, it, the, there was a power issue, so I had to send it back. 
um, and I could not get it at that price, so I kind of had to wait and got another one, which is this one. So I got all of these together to find out which one of these is going to be the best option. Now, this is kind of a cheat because obviously we're not staying in a certain price range. This goes up considerably. And if you want to stream and you want to podcast and you may do some music, um, I, I think that this is probably the best deal. It has absolutely everything you could possibly want. And in the review, uh, you can go watch it down below. Um, I go over all the software. I mean, there's not really anything that you can't change on this thing. And of course, it does have the voice changing for several different things. Like this. And this. And this which I'll never use, but it's fun to play around with. But it does have a mute button for the mic. Listen. See, it's a quiet button. It is a button, but it's very quiet. And it gives me an LED readout on that. Everything plugs into the back, so nothing's coming out of the front to clutter up my desk. I have independent volume for my monitor slash speakers and independent volume for my headphones. And then a volume for everything, a volume for chat, a volume for game. It, it has absolutely everything. So this is obviously a clear winner for me. Um, and I know, like I said, the price range is a little bit uh, up there. But this is metal constructed. The other ones, other than the vault, are all plastic. I don't know if that really matters to you. It doesn't really matter to me, especially something that sits on a desk. I don't travel with these things, so uh, I don't think that's really a factor. But we're going to listen to each one of these, and then maybe you can decide as far as like the mic quality. And then with all the information that I've given you here, hopefully you can pick one that is suited to your needs. So we're going to listen to it. Thanks for watching Seriously Tech Stuff. Please subscribe and like. It helps out a lot. Thanks for watching Seriously Tech Stuff. Please subscribe and like. It helps out a lot. Thanks for watching Seriously Tech Stuff. Please subscribe and like. It helps out a lot. Thanks for watching Seriously Tech Stuff. Please subscribe and like. It helps out a lot. Okay, so after all of that, after testing these, after going through all its functionality, even having samples of the mic quality, there seems to be a clear winner here, right? Well, maybe not. Because there's one thing, after I did all of this and I wrote the end of this video, I thought, wait a minute. I'm, maybe I should play some games with this. Maybe I should take these and put it through the paces and really do what I'm going to do every day with these things. And that's where it kind of got weird. So first with the Wave XLR, it sounded perfectly fine. It sounded much like my Volt. With the BridgeCast, it sounded good. Uh, it even has an EQ, so you can even change it. But then, I use this. Now, up until the end of the last video, I had not really played any games with this. So, I usually pick four games to do audio stuff with. Halo Infinite, Battlefield 2042, which has always had great sound, Destiny 2, which is the only reason it's on my SSD, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. So, out of those four games, I decided to just play for a while, play for a couple hours, and see what I thought about it. So, again, with the Wave XLR, sounded fine. Unplugged it, plugged up the... Bridgecast sounds perfectly fine. But then when I listened to this, it was really in Halo Infinite and Call of Duty that I could tell a difference. And the difference was the soundstage was more precise and open. And not only could I tell where enemies were, I could actually tell without looking at them how far away they were from me. And that was something absolutely new. In Call of Duty, you can hear people above you, below you, next to you, 
I could hear which one it was. I could hear if they were above me, below me. Now, this is just straight hardware. There's no 3D apps involved at all. In these games, I set it to stereo. Because if you have good headphones, you don't need all that stuff anyway. But this is a game changer, literally. I could, I could hear what I felt like was everything. The bass was a little bit more pronounced, but it was softer. The mids were warmer. Uh, like a sweater the treble was eased off just a little bit and maybe a little bit flatter but it made the whole game sound natural and that's what you want to go for is natural so what did I do I'm like no this is something's wrong let me hook this back up this has got to be better than that right it's got to be this is a $300 streaming monolith it, it, no. It sounds good. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with the sound. It just did not have the quality of this guy. So, with that in mind, I had to rethink this a little bit. Okay, so what am I losing with this? Well, I'm losing a bunch of stuff that I'm probably not going to use anyway. Because streaming is not my main focus. I do stream, but there's a lot of stuff here that I probably would never use. You know, like the voice changer, the EQ. I don't really like EQs. Like again, if you have good headset, the pitch, the all of this stuff, uh, the streaming mixes. This is very easy to use, and it's magnificent if you stream, if you play games, if you do recording, it works just as well. But am I going to use all that? And could I actually have this on my desk and send this back, knowing that the sound quality was so much better? No, I couldn't. Plus, I'm getting an instrument jack. I do play guitar, so that's a plus as well. So really, the only thing here that I'm losing as far as the Volt 1 is the volume out of here. See, if you plug speakers into here, you, you don't get any sound here until you unplug it. So if you have headphones in here, it turns these off completely. You actually have to unplug this for sound to get out of here. And I think that's weird for Evo to do. Sorry, audience. That's just strange. I've watched many videos on this and nobody has said that that's crap. I'm saying it, it's crap. They should have just another button push here to control the, the, the volume coming out of this and hit it again for this one. That would be a game changer. I don't know who in a studio thinks that pulling the headphones out every time you want to hear that output is that's wear and tear on your jack and your headphones and it's really just dumb. But I can just split it and I got my, my, my speakers are right there. I can just turn them up. So it's not that big a deal. Everything else I'm getting what I want. All the connections are coming out of the back except the headphones. I've got mute for the mic and I've got control on PC. I've got a PC mixer. I, it's everything I want. Plus, it sounds so good. So, if you want to upgrade your sound for gaming or music or just in general on your PC, I have to say I do recommend this wholeheartedly. If you're using your onboard sound on your computer, it's probably okay. I guarantee this, prob this will sound better. Plus, if you're gaming or streaming a little bit or just playing with friends, it doesn't matter. You can get this. It's $129. You can get the Fafine K669D, which you're hearing right here, under $200 and completely change your audio setup. You'll sound better. You'll have better sound and you'll have onboard control of everything. So this is the winner for me. This is what you're going to be listening to in future videos when recording and I'm going to enjoy this fantastic sound playing games. So sorry for the twist at the end, but thanks for sticking in there. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Please like it helps me out a bunch, helps me make better videos. So, um, until the next one, have fun playing.